All right, so everybody knows the pyramids, right? I mean, the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the wonders of the ancient world. Definitely. But what if I told you that beneath this iconic structure, something even more extraordinary lies hidden, something that could rewrite our understanding of ancient Egypt? That's a great setup, and you're right, there's a fascinating new discovery beneath the Great Pyramid. We're diving deep today into a discovery that's sending shockwaves through the world of archaeology. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Using cutting-edge technology, researchers have detected massive structures deep, deep underground. And get this, these structures are not just big, they're shaped like giant spirals hundreds of meters long. It's a finding that raises more questions than it answers, really making us rethink what we thought we knew about the Giza Plateau and the capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. So let's unpack this. We're talking about something absolutely massive, hidden over a mile beneath one of the most studied archaeological sites on Earth. How did they even find this? Well, the key to this discovery lies in a technique called seismic reflection tomography. Tomography, that sounds familiar. I know they use that in medicine. Yeah, exactly. It's similar to a CT scan or an ultrasound, but instead of looking inside the human body, it's used to create images of the Earth's subsurface. So instead of X-rays, they're using sound waves. Right. Scientists generate these seismic waves, and as those waves travel through the ground, they encounter different layers, different types of rock, maybe even voids or structures. And when those waves hit something different, some of the energy is reflected back to the surface. So it's like an echolocation, kind of like how bats see in the dark? Yeah, exactly. It's like an underground sonar. By analyzing the timing and the strength of those reflected waves, they can build up a detailed picture of what's going on beneath the surface. And this is how they stumbled upon these, what did you call them, spiral structures? Well, not stumbled upon exactly. It took years of meticulous data collection and analysis by a dedicated team of geophysicists and archaeologists. Oh, so a whole team. Yeah, at the International Institute for Subterranean Archaeology. Right, so this wasn't just some lucky accident. This was a targeted, well-planned, and executed research project. Absolutely, and they had to deploy a whole network of sensors across the Giza Plateau, capturing these reflected waves from all these different angles. And then all that data had to be processed and interpreted. That must have taken a massive amount of computing power. It did. They needed some really powerful algorithms to sift through all that data and eventually reveal the outline of these massive spiraling structures lurking beneath the surface. Wow. So years of research, cutting edge technology, and a whole team of experts. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about these structures themselves. What are the key characteristics that make them so intriguing? Okay, first of all, the scale. These things are huge. Look how huge. We're talking over 600 meters yeah. in vertical extent. Just to put that into perspective, that's like twice the height of the Eiffel Tower, but underground. Whoa. That's mind-boggling. So they're like these giant subterranean columns. Well, the data suggests a consistent cylindrical shape, but the exact diameter, that's something that's still a bit of a mystery. But here's the real kicker. They're not just straight columns, right? They actually follow a spiral path downward. It really has everyone scratching their heads. Yeah. It's like a giant underground corkscrew. So we've got massive size, a unique spiral shape, and then there's the depth. They're located more than two kilometers beneath the surface, right? That's right. Much deeper than any other structure that's been found in the Giza area. It's like a whole other world down there. So from this seismic data, they've been able to create three-dimensional models of these structures. That must be something pretty amazing to look at. Oh, it is. It really helps you visualize just how massive and complex these things are. But I imagine with the discovery this big, there's got to be some skepticism. Oh, definitely. And it's important to have healthy skepticism in science. Yeah. I mean, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So what are some of the counter arguments, the challenges that people are raising about these findings? Well, the main one is that seismic data, while powerful, isn't a photograph. You're not seeing the structures directly. You're interpreting patterns of reflected waves. Mm -hmm. And some people are saying that those patterns could potentially be caused by natural geological formations. So like unusual rock layers or something like that, that could mimic the appearance of these artificial structures. Yeah, it's a possibility. And until there's some sort of physical evidence, it's hard to rule it out completely. And of course, the depth poses a huge challenge. I mean, digging down that deep to actually see the structures firsthand, that's a massive undertaking. 
And it raises questions about what the ancient Egyptians were capable of, technologically speaking. Absolutely. The scale and the complexity of these structures, if they are indeed artificial, would push the boundaries of what we currently understand about ancient Egyptian engineering. But the team behind the discovery, they're not just ignoring these challenges, right? They're actively seeking more evidence. Exactly. They're planning to conduct additional seismic surveys using different techniques. The idea is to try to get a more comprehensive picture of these structures and see if the data from different methods all converge on the same interpretation. And there's been talk about using another technique called muon tomography, right? What's that all about? So muon tomography, it uses these subatomic particles called muons that are constantly raining down on us from space. Subatomic particles, huh? Yeah. And these muons, they can actually penetrate through solid rock. And by placing detectors around the area of interest, scientists can track how those muons are absorbed or deflected as they pass through. And this can reveal hidden voids or dense structures. So it's like another way of looking inside the Earth, but using these tiny particles from space. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really cutting edge stuff. And it could potentially provide independent confirmation of these structures without having to dig a single hole. Well, while we wait for more data to come in, it's fun to speculate, right? I mean, what could these mysterious spiral structures actually be? What are some of the theories that are being thrown around? Well, there are a lot of theories, and some are more out there than others. One idea is that it could be some kind of a giant subterranean water management system. A water management system? Yeah, I mean, think about it. The Giza Plateau is right next to the Nile, which was the lifeblood of ancient Egypt. And these structures, if they're hollow, could potentially have been used to channel or filter water or maybe even control the flow of the Nile itself. That's interesting. I mean, the ancient Egyptians were known for their sophisticated irrigation system. They were. And who knows, maybe this is evidence of something even more advanced than we previously imagined. What about the possibility that these structures are part of a much larger complex, something that extends far beyond the pyramids themselves, like a lost underground city or something? Yeah, that's another intriguing possibility. Maybe what we see above ground, the pyramids and the Sphinx, is just the tip of the iceberg. And these spirals, they could be part of a vast subterranean network of chambers and tunnels. Now that would be something truly amazing to uncover. It would. And of course, there are the more speculative theories, like the idea that these structures were used for some kind of energy harvesting or manipulation. Yeah, the pyramids have always been magnets for these kinds of theories. I mean, some people believe that the ancient Egyptians possessed knowledge of subtle energies, maybe even forms of energy that we don't fully understand today. And these spiral structures could have been designed to harness or amplify those energies. And of course, you can't talk about ancient Egypt without talking about their profound spiritual beliefs. Could these structures have served some kind of ritualistic or ceremonial purpose? Absolutely. I mean, the spiral is a powerful symbol in many cultures, often associated with cycles of life, death, and rebirth. It's also connected to the duat, the ancient Egyptian underworld. So it's not hard to imagine that these structures could have had some deep spiritual significance. And then there's the really wild card, the idea that these structures are evidence of a lost civilization, something that predates the ancient Egyptians. Yeah, that's always a possibility when you encounter something this mysterious and seemingly advanced. It's, <laughs> it's definitely food for thought. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? If these structures are indeed artificial, the engineering challenges of building them would have been absolutely staggering. I mean, excavating and constructing something on that scale at that depth, it boggles the mind. Yeah, I mean, just think about the logistics. How would they have removed all that earth? How did they support the structures to prevent them from collapsing? How did they provide ventilation and lighting for the workers down there? And let's not forget about the groundwater. They would have had to deal with constant flooding. It would have been an incredibly dangerous and complex undertaking. Absolutely. And it would suggest a level of engineering expertise that maybe, just maybe, surpasses what we currently give the ancient Egyptians credit for. It's really fascinating to think about. So what are the next steps in trying to solve this mystery? What needs to happen to get more definitive answers about the nature and purpose of these structures? Well, the first thing is to get more data. The team is already planning further seismic surveys, and hopefully muon tomography will be able to shed some light on things as well. And there's the possibility of using ground penetrating radar, right? Could that be helpful? Ground penetrating radar or GPR, it's really effective for mapping shallower features. But at these depths, over two kilometers down, it's unlikely to be much use. I see. 
but it could still be useful for mapping out any potential access points if they exist. What about sending down robots or probes? That's definitely a possibility for the future. If non-invasive techniques continue to support the existence of these structures, then robotic exploration would be the next logical step. You know, small, remotely operated vehicles equipped with cameras and sensors. That would be incredible. Yeah, to actually get eyes on these things, to see them firsthand. But that's probably a long way off, right? Mm, it is, and it would depend on finding suitable access points. And of course, there are always ethical considerations when exploring something like this. Yeah, you don't want to disturb something of such potential historical significance without careful planning and consideration. Exactly. And the ultimate step, I guess, would be actual excavation. But that's probably a long shot, right? Yeah, it would be the most definitive way to investigate, but it would be incredibly expensive, logistically challenging, and there's always the risk of damaging the structures. Yeah. It's not something to be taken lightly. So we're left with a lot more questions than answers, but it's such an exciting discovery. It really underscores the fact that there's still so much we don't know about the past. It really does. And it highlights the incredible power of modern technology. I mean, who would have thought that we could use subatomic particles from space to explore ancient mysteries buried deep beneath the Earth. It's like something straight out of science fiction. So we've got these massive spiraling structures beneath the Great Pyramid, a whole range of tantalizing theories about what they could be, and a scientific community that's buzzing with excitement and cautious optimism. It's a reminder that there's still so much to discover even in places that we think we know so well. So as we continue to explore this fascinating discovery, as we wait for more data to come in, it begs the question, what other secrets lie hidden beneath their feet waiting to be revealed? Exactly. This is just one example of how our understanding of the past is constantly evolving, and who knows what other incredible discoveries await us in the future. Well, that's the beauty of archaeology, isn't it? There's always something new to uncover, always a new mystery to solve. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? What other wonders of the ancient world are still out there waiting to be found? What other stories are waiting to be told? Yeah, and it's a reminder that even the most iconic, the most well-studied sites can still hold surprises. Well, that's a great place to leave it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into one of the most intriguing archaeological discoveries in recent memory. It's been a pleasure. And as always, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep an open mind. Until next time, happy digging. Happy digging.